Good morning. A lot of energy at practice today. Um, I thought the team came and prepared today. They, they were well well prepared today by the coaches, and they came out and executed well in practice. So I'm very pleased for what I saw today. He threw the ball well today. Threw the ball well. Well, I just make hope he wakes up tomorrow feeling the same way. Make, hope he wakes up feeling good. So, but um, the last three days have been enough for me to see. Do you have to pair back things at all? I mean, is it a, what's that situation like for a guy who's kind of been out three weeks? And he's, or, or can you go? Can he pick up where he left off? I guess? Oh yeah, I mean, you, you remember now, Casey has played a lot of football. Okay, it's not his first rodeo. He's played a lot of football, so we can pick up where he left off at. It was, it was a matter of him feeling better and made, making sure that he can play at a high level. So we didn't target this game. It was on Casey, how Casey felt. Considering how the offense has struggled without him, what does this do for the rest of the unit having Casey potentially back on the field? Well, it gives you a lot of confidence right now with the, with the offensive guys that he's back, that now we can we can push the ball down the field if we need to. And he's also going to make sure we get in the right place. He's going to be at a line of running back up. He's, he's your starting quarterback. You're getting him back. We've been playing with our second our second guy and our third guy the last couple of weeks. We've asked you a lot about Ernest Hausman, but have you been uh, encouraged by – I mean, there's like three or four younger guys on defense that have kind of stepped up, Hart Sog, you know, Javen Wright. Are you encouraged by some of those young guys? Yes, are? yes, Hart Sog and Javen Wright. I'm, I'm really impressed with those guys. Um, Wright played 24 plays last week, and he was solid. And Malcolm, Malcolm's just been solid this whole year. He's a kid, you know, he just – he stays in a fight. He stays in the fight. He, he doesn't blink. You catch a ball on him. He's, he stays in the fight. He continues to, to give you everything that he has. Yes. I mean, I, unless he wakes up tomorrow and he says, my, my whole elbow is numb. Okay? Yeah, he's going to play. Now, I try to be honest with you guys and not hide anything because people say, hey, we don't know if Casey's playing. Well, they're going to find out after the first snap. They're going to find out when he's warming up. So it's no secret. I mean, it's football. We, I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad at everybody that thinks it's a secret. Like you're keeping it secret. Like they're going to prepare it differently. It hadn't been any change with the play calling. So that guy's a smart guy over there. He's going to see that, hey, there hadn't been any change in the play calling, so I'm going to prepare the same way. And, and I would do the same. I know Wisconsin's defense hasn't been quite what they've been in past years, but what stands out to you about them and the tests they're going to give you uh, Saturday? Well, I think they're a solid defense. I think they're, uh, you know, a top 20 defense in some categories. But they're a team that don't make make mistakes. I think they're really good good inside with the interior guys. And I think their um, 19 is a really good pass rusher and a really good football player. So I think they got a solid solid defense. we got to execute to move the ball on these people. However it shakes out, I mean, last night I listened to the radio. It's obvious there's a lot of people that really support you and mm-hmm. just have been really excited about the job you've done. Have you been able to kind of take stock of that? And what's that kind of meant? Well, no, you appreciate the support. You know, you appreciate the support, and and you know, you you, you show. I'm sure Trey, I'm going to do the best thing. That's for the university. But I always was so, um, so appreciate the support. And my thing is, I'm trying to help these kids move along and try to win a game, and not focus on that because it's not about me. But um, you're happy that you have the support that you have out through through the state. That you tell them the truth. That you tell them the truth. Some coaches don't do that. They beat them with the pen. They let them get three or four things. Then they say, okay, and I'm going to kick you off because you did this and that. No, you don't You don't operate with kids like that. You don't operate with adults like that. That's bad people that do that. You know, that beat you with the pen. Instead of when you make a mistake, tell you you made a mistake. And that's how I, I'm, I tell them the truth and they know I care about them. Since I came out the wound, that's my mom and my dad. Hey, no, no, they're the same. You know, they, they, you know, s- some different players, but they're the same scheme wise on both sides. They hadn't changed. This team's 
had some disappointment in the last few weeks. Is, is there any more Mickey magic in this program? Well, I don't think it's any magic. It's about them coming out and playing 60 minutes, and that's what we ask them to do. We got we talked about it this morning that we got to put a 60 minute game together in all three phases, and let's let's try to do that. And I think if we do that, we're gonna be able to get in here and compete and help us um, to win the game. But we got to put 60 minutes together in all three phases. They see it every morning. 2012. 2012. It's been since 2012. You just got to let that register with them. You got to let them know this is what's this has been going on, you know. So it sits in their mind and they think about it. Yeah, but I mean we can't change the weather. We ready? We went out and practiced in it and um, Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we 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 ready because we put them out there in the cold just because we know we're going to go out there. We always do special teams outside. We did some team periods outside. So they'll be prepared for it. They, this team really don't let the cold bother them. You know, they didn't blink at Michigan when it started snowing and got a little chilly. They didn't blink. They kept on playing. Thank you, guys.